Thank you. Norms favor you. What do you have today? Sturdy and yet lightweight, perfect for your line of work. Thank you. I am sure I will see you back again soon. Have you got a contract for me? I have requests that may or may not involve violence. Interested? There will be contracts when the mood strikes you. 
I will see you later, friend. Go with your gods. Hi, table. What have you got for me today? You done? I have to go. See you soon. Oh, look at you, Chewie. It was not rubbish. I intended to use it. Please. Ranvi, what is this? Another dispute, I'm afraid, with Holger stirring the pot once again. Will you set in judgment? Judgments are the burden of a Jarl. This is Sigurd's duty now. He refuses to leave his quarters. Right now, you are the only noble fit for this. I don't know. It is not my place. Please. Only until Sigurd recovers his strength. All right. Once more. Gudrun, Holger, come forward. You will state your cases, and I will hear you out and be as swift in my judgment as I am able. Gudrun, you may speak. I have been robbed, Abel. My property defaced. Three days ago, I discovered some of my sail cloth missing. I scoured the settlement in search of it. Passing Holger's home, there I see it. Boldly displayed and worse, defaced. With scrawls and silly stories upon it. Lies and slander! Holger, quiet. You're well acquainted with the rules of this trial. Now, Gudrun, what did you do upon discovering your sailcloth? I confronted him, demanding silver. For sail with Holger's inky scratching cannot be sold or bartered, can it? I ask only that I be paid for the property that was taken from me, yet he refuses. So Holger took something that belonged to you and defaced it. Now you wish to be paid for the item. Do I understand? That is right. Holger, what say you in your defense? Short days ago, I found a pile of mildew-stained detritus beneath the docks, and salvaged what I could. I wish to use it as a canvas, you see? As a conveyance for my latest works. The sailcloth was in such a state, and so obscured from view, I assumed it was refuse, abandoned goods. I see. My motives were honest, Eivor. Would a thief be so brazen as to display the fruits of his crime? Hardly. Yet here she claims I have robbed and defaced her property, when all I took was rubbish left by to rot. <sighs> Nonsense. My only crime here is that I gave something ugly and decrepit a bold new life. Exactly. Yes. All right, I have heard enough. I might have profited from that cloth. Hulk has all but robbed me of a future boon. It was garbage. Yet now it's a part of something greater. If anything, I have increased its value. You ought to thank me. Oh, I will thank you with the back of my... Quiet. Let me speak. After careful thought, it is clear that... What is this? What are you doing? Holger and Gudrun are at odds. I hope to find a resolution. That duty is mine alone, Eivor. You know this. Stand aside. You were not here, brother. Nor did I wish to bother you. A sallow excuse for such a bold defiance. I hope you enjoyed it. Are you finished singing, my dear scout? My Jarl, as I was saying, Stop! I Stop! Enough! I have heard more than enough to render my judgment. 
For as long as I've known you, Holgate, you have spun words into lies. You weaken the minds of children, and delude the minds of men. I've shown you too many years of tolerance. And rather than exist in grateful meekness as Holgate the liar, you sink lower. You become Holgate the thief, robbing a woman of her livelihood, all in the name of your stupid stories. Secret, you all know that that is not the... This is the consequence of your actions. You will pay Gudrun the value of 30 sailcloths. 30 times? Surely you jest. That would ruin me, Sigurd. Do I look like one to pay Prax, Holgate? Pay the fee, or be exiled? Great, Jarl, if I may. I seek only compensation for a single sailcloth. The rest is... 30 times! In silver! That is my judgment. Eivor, please. Does this not seem unfair? Sigurd is our Jarl. His word is law, whether or not you agree. You see? Of course, my all. As it must be. Forgive my defiance. Thank you, Lord, for hearing us out. See to it that judgment is carried out exactly as I have said. Should the need arise again, do not fail. <gasps> thank you. Nice to see you. I want to thank you for your judgment, Eivor. For stepping in when Sigurd would not, in spite of what happened. Poor man. I've never known him to be so angry and reckless. Is that a side you've seen? Rarely. There have been moments when he was distressed, worried, afraid. But nothing like this. Never, ever like this. Let us do our best for him as we take care of our own. We are his best hope for healing. If it is not too late. In the meantime, we press on. I entered Jovik's shire to meet Halfton Jarl. And I left a friend of Hafton the king. We have an oath at last. Good. Very good. The family among you. He is more than welcome here, as are you. Eivor, good to... You and Petra, eh? Couldn't ask for a better match for my sister. You treat her well. I would like to see what you have in stock. Nothing else. I have something that may interest you. I'd pay well for this. This will be a great help. We always have need for this. I knew I could count on you. I'm looking for this. Done for now. And Happy hunting! Ah, I was just thinking about you. I should go. Let's talk again soon.
I want to see the Alliance map. I have changed my mind. I should go.